We are upgrading the meter on our PLC trainers, and I want to go through how that will affect you on our previous lessons and our future lessons. This is the old meter, and this is the new meter. And the new meter is going to be a lot cleaner because it is completely loop powered. Plus, it has a couple auxiliary outputs that we're going to be able to simulate some high and low tank levels. Whereas this one required external power. So let's talk through the wires that we had on this and how they're gonna to translate to the new one. First, we had our red small wire that went to our plus 24 volt and our black small wire that went to our minus 24 volt. And that simply powers the meter. Also on the really early versions of this, both of these were black. And then we have a yellow small wire that was the voltage on our meter. Now our new meter will only do milliamp signals. And what I found was I could not find a really versatile milliamp meter that also included voltage. And I believe this is more representative of what we actually see out in the field. Next, we have our red thick wire and our black thick wire. And the red thick wire is our milliamp plus. The black thick wire is our milliamp minus. Now, this was not capable of actually being a loop because internally our milliamp minus was connected to the common. So in a typical 4 to 20 milliamp circuit, you would have a plus and it would go through a sensor and then go to the analog input and it comes back around to a common. And one of the key advantages of a milliamp circuit is virtually anywhere, whether it be here, here, or here, you should be able to cut the meter in. Now with our old meter, you couldn't actually do this exercise. Now let's talk about how we would hook up an analog circuit on our old meter setup and how to hook it up on our new meter setup. So I am going to take our SIM ALP2 and we're going to put it into current source mode. And that means that the black one is the common and the red is the PLC input. So in the case of our old meter, I simply take the black post to the black thick wire and the red post to the red thick wire. Then as I bring my meter up, the signal goes up on the milliamp side as well. So to hook up the new one, on the back of it, we have five terminals. Terminal number one is our milliamp plus. Terminal number two is our milliamp minus. It doesn't actually require any power. So I'll take the wire off of the minus milliamp terminal, which was the big black wire, and is going to the black post of our analog simulator, and I'm gonna connect it to terminal two. Then I'm going to take the terminal off of the big red wire and it is connected to the red post of the analog simulator. It'll go to terminal one and notice the moment that I put this into the loop, it actually powers it up and we're seeing our milliamp signal. The new meter, I feel that we need to do a refresher on the difference between current two wire and current four wire, current source, current loop, passive, actively powered, internally powered, externally powered. So here's a video on that and several other helpful videos on 4 to 20 milliamp signals.